Hello dear students, I am Abhinav Negi, welcome you all in your own platform Resultant. Now guys, Gate Conducting Authority of 2025, that is IIT Roorkee, has released a notice. First of all, let me tell you guys, this is not uh, one of kind of a notice or a very uh, surprising thing because Gate is exam which every year occurs, every year the notification comes in the month of August. Okay, every year the dates of the examination in the first two weekends of the February. Okay, slight changes is there this time, maybe due to the clash of other exams. Apart from that guys, for GATE, it is a cyclic exam where the events of the thing, maybe it is exam, admit card release, result of release, all these are the periodic events. But still guys, I will be telling you all the press release and other things like paper combination and the uh, number of students who have appeared in 2024 it is especially important for those students who will be appearing for the gate first time those who have already appeared they might be knowing all this so guys uh, on the official website of gate uh, the IIT Rurki has released the notice that the form will be coming okay the form will be released from 24th of August and up to 26th of uh, uh, September you can fill this form Okay, you can fill the form later on also guys because there is an extended period which is every time okay up to 7th of October but late fees will be there. So if you don't have any unnecessary amount better to fill it before 26th of September and on 24th of August it will be released and we will be telling you that how to fill the form so you will not be doing any mistake. Okay, now the form fees is 1800 for the unreserved candidates. Okay, I am talking of regular period and 900 for SC, ST and female candidates and 1800 for unreserved candidates. If you fill in the extended period that is after 26 August it will be more. Now examination will be on uh, the 1st and 2nd Feb and 15th and 16th Feb. This may be due to that engineering services has already released its exam date which is on the second weekend. That is why for the first time gate is not happening in the consecutive weekends. 1st and 2nd and then 15th and 16 that is first weekend and the third weekend now civil will be here or mechanical will be here civil will be here that has not been released till now okay you can find this in the official notice as well now guys uh, the three gate is three years valid that is all uh, every time this happens and the various two paper combinations i'll be telling you in detail okay so what civil engineer can give the exam if he should give or not everything i'll be telling you okay there are total 30 tests in which you can give the exam computer physics DA, civil, mechanical, everything is there. Okay. So now let me go into the detail in more systematic manner. Okay. So guys, uh, before let me tell you a brief history of the gate uh, to those students who are giving the gate for the first time guys. First, the gate was first conducted in 1984. That time the pattern was very different. Subjective was there. Okay. Then guys, uh, 1991 MCQs were in introduced. MCQ plus subjective. 2003 completely MSQ, MCQ subjective were eliminated 2014 NAT were and also introduced 2021 MSQs were introduced and guys this was the last time when syllabus was updated the last time when the syllabus was updated for gate was 2021 that time IIT Bombay was the conducting authority after 2021 there is no syllabus change and as we expect that this time also there will be no syllabus change if we see 2024, the students in civil, computer, electrical and mechanical have increased. But students in electronics have decreased. Okay. So compared to 2023, in 2024, not huge variation, but slight variation is there. Now this is the cutoff of 2024, guys. Out of 100 marks uh, for civil, it is 28.3. For OBC, it is 25.4. For SCST, it is 18.8. For mechanical, guys, it is 28.6, 25.7 and 19, guys. And as compared to the last year, for mechanical it is more or less same, but for it is increased because last year paper was uh, little tougher side. Okay, so by, but guys, this cutoff for general it is around 28, 29 marks always. For OBC also it is around 25, 26 marks, and for SST it is around 20 marks. But just clearing the cutoff will never help. It will not give you IIT seat. It will now not give you a PSU. For getting PSU guys in civil, you should be scoring around if you are general category 200 rank or 250 rank. For OBC it is 350 rank, for SCST it is 900 rank. For mechanical guys, if you are in 400 rank, you can get a PSU in general. A, around 600, 700 rank OBC and for 1200 rank SCST in mechanical can expect a PSU. Uh, also it varies on the number of seats also because number of seats are M, M tech guys, we are very sure that this much rank will get M tech. 
but PSU we are not very sure because the number of seats are of M Tech are not increasing by two percent or three percent. There is almost zero fluctuation unless a new IIT is added. But PSU seats sometimes X by three, sometimes X, sometimes three X. So it may vary by uh, nine times also. But number of M Tech seats are not varying. That is why we can predict better. Third year students are also eligible for gate guys. For them it is like a free hit. It's if you score well, it's fine. Otherwise you will have one more ball that is in fourth year. And if you score well, then fourth year will be a little relaxed for you and you can focus some other things or even a better rank in gate examination. Now guys, if I talk about the various students, number of students appeared in 2024. Okay, this is the data guys. Uh, if I compare civil engineering, the number of seats in 2000, number of students who have registered or appeared are more as compared to 2024, but not huge fluctuation. Okay. So around 1,8,000 students have registered out of which 85,000 appear every time guys 16%, 17%, 12% students not appear for the examination and let me tell you guys in every branch na, 85,000 students are appeared here but the real competition is among 4,000 and 5,000 students only those who complete more than 80% syllabus and they are real contenders and out of 4,000 students guys 1,000 will be getting something that is uh, MTech in IIT or PSU. Okay. Now guys, uh, for mechanical, uh, number of students registered is 83,000 and appeared is 65,000. Okay, you can see in mechanical also, the number of students have registered and appeared has been increased, but not huge fluctuation. Now, this is the GATE 2024 statistical report guys, that in selectment explain you civil, 1,5,000 students registered, 83,000 appeared out of 15,000 only qualified. That means, the students who are getting more than 28 marks or 26 marks or SCST 19 marks are only 15,000. These are the students who are qualifying. And if I go more than 50 marks now, or less than 2,000 students are there. Okay. So, number of students are huge, but the real students who are fighting for it, who are covering more than 80 to 90 percent syllabus are almost 4,000 and 5,000 guys. Okay. Average marks of uh, standard deviation is this and average marks of the students is 14.92. Okay, and the top 0.1% students, okay, means top 100 students, average of top 100 is 72 marks. Now guys, uh, you can give the gate examination in two paper, like suppose you are mechanical, so you can give in AE, DA, IN, NM, Naval, PI, XZ. Suppose you are from civil engineer, you can give AE, aerospace, agriculture, architecture, environment science, geomatics, Naval, XZ. Should I give a second paper or not, that depends totally on you. Suppose one student may be, he may be good in civil or he may... Uh, get a good marks in civil, but now he is uh, devoting his concentration on two. So neither he get a good rank here, neither he, go to, he get a good rank here. Another student may be whose civil is not good. Most of the subjects are not good, but his surveying is very good. So geometrics is favorable for him because geometrics consists of surveying. His environment is very good. So here other subjects will not be coming. Na. Here other subjects will not be coming. Na. Or his two subjects, so many FM is good. So in XZ you can take two subjects, your choice. So for that sub student who is not good in most of the subjects in civil, but in two subjects he is good. I will give you the list of two subjects or in environment he is good, geometry is good. Might be he prepared only here with full concentration, he will not be getting a good rank. But with the preparation here he can go to good rank and then he can go to MTech. Guys from PSU will never recruit you from secondary paper. If you got rank 1 here, rank 1 nothing will happen for PSU. PSU only take your that rank in which you have done BTech. But there are some MTech seats. MTech specializations both in core and interdisciplinary where secondary paper rank is valid. So that depends I have told you both the situations one student can go both and neither he get a good rank neither he get a good rank here so nothing will happen. One student whose civil is not very good most of the subjects are not very good but his geotech is good environment science is good or two paper so many FM is good they can get a good rank here getting a good rank here will not get give them a PSU seat but they can go for MTech in which these branches are eligible same for mechanical. Okay, for mechanical, if suppose most of the subjects are not good, but his production is good. Or two subjects, XZ has more subjects for mechanical, in which two has to be selected. So he can get a good rank here. Okay, so for civil guys, agriculture, aerospace, these are good. But if your surveying is good, I refer only this you can take and this you can take. Either these or XZ, environment size. Either these three you should take. And that too only when your environment is some special or you can do well here or in surveying you can do well here or so many FM you can do. Otherwise better to focus on civil only. Now guys for civil engineering na, the paper combination is like uh, for civil ESNM like 15 aptitude, 85 is your subject marks in which uh, 
usually 13 marks is mathematics and 72 marks is technical for exina guys what is the paper combination 15 is aptitude 15 is maths not 13 for exe 15 is maths for civil engineering and mechanical engineering guys for civil and mechanical what happens one part is of 15 aptitude another is 85 out of which 13 is approximately maths for exe guys what happens 15 is aptitude 15 fixed is maths and remaining 70 you have to take two papers 35 plus 35 those two papers you can decide on the exam okay like these are the two papers for civil engineering only two papers are there fluid and solid others they don't study but for mechanical they can take the subjects like thermo solid they can take thermo also okay so xz you can take any two paper okay whether you have to take two paper or not that i already told you so guys this is the complete information let me again tell you that the paper uh, the exam dates will be released from 24th august we'll be making a video to how to fill the form okay so fill this form guys from 24th august up to 26th september okay and uh, wish you a good luck resultant team is always with you guys we'll, we will be soon opening with a crash course also okay so our gate courses are there where you will get the live courses okay in our gate courses are there where you are getting the live uh, classes infinite number of times you can watch the recordings also okay okay previous uh, this is also there classes are english hindi both you can download the resultant app from the play store live and recorded class are there we are giving the study notes we are giving the pyqs we are giving the test series workbooks question session everything you can download the app from the play store okay test special test is also there if you are attempting this also i hope we, there is a course for two one year also and two year course is also there and as of now discount is going on for any other doubt guys you can connect me on my mail id that is abhinav at the rate resultant.in or my telegram group civil by abhinav sir thank you guys take care wish you all the best for the gate 2025 thank you